What is up my little squishies? I am making cake, 4th of July cupcakes. And I'm gonna dye them red and blue. But before I finish, I'm going to go to the bathroom really quick. What's up? So, okay. So I already got the water in and then I mixed it up. Now I'm going to put, it says one cup of oil in. Putting one cup of oil in. So it says one and a half cups of canola oil. So I'm just gonna do one and a half cups. And it might not seem like a lot, one and a half cups, but that's how much oil I have to put in it. Yeah, that's a lot of oil. Wow. Um, actually, guys, it said one half of a cup. So I just dumped a whole bunch of oil, but that's okay. So I used one cup too much, but I dumped it all back out. Um, so yeah. That has been taken care of. It's not gonna taste any different, guys, I promise. Now I'm just gonna mix this up. Mix the oil in. Shaking the whole table, guys. I feel like I'm making edible slime. Okay, before I put the eggs in, I just want to show you guys these cute 4th of July cups. I'm just going to put two in each of them. Because we don't want it that, uh, we don't want the batter leaking through the cups. Whoops, that's one. That's the one. Okay, guys, so I got that. Now I'm going to do the other ones. I'm making cupcakes. Um, I'm making 4th of July cupcakes, so they're going to be red and blue, and then the frosting is going to be, some of the frosting is going to be red, blue, and white. So I'm going to make the frosting a while these are cooking in the oven. And I already have the oven set to 350. I'm on top of my game, guys. That one's cool. Okay, this one's two. So now I'm going to do three eggs. That's one. That's two. There's no shells. Mm 
that's three. And there's no shelves. Okay. Now I'm just gonna mix this up, guys. Okay guys, I'm done mixing, so now I'm going to pour the batter equally into each of these bowls and then put red and blue food coloring. And the oven already beeped, so I need to kind of hurry up, but kind of do, kind of don't. But here's the first bowl guys. Here's the second bowl. And guys, if you think that I'm not going to lick this bowl and this spatula, y'all must be, something must be wrong in your way, because I am going to. Don't worry guys, I'm pretty sure that was just a firework. Or my dad pulling into the driveway. And he shut his door. Might have been a really loud car door slamming or a firework. Okay guys, they they are like really even. Now I'm gonna go wash my hands. Okay guys, and now I'm gonna put the classic blue in. Okay. Just gonna pour quite a bit of this. And guys, it doesn't even look blue, it looks black. See, look. Hold on, Hold on guys. That's what it looks like. Whoopsies. You guys just got a close up of that cake. Okay, now I'm gonna get my spatula. And then mix it. So cool. And I'm gonna want it more of a vibrant blue. Like I want it like like dark blue. So guys, I use the whole bottle of this blue food coloring right here. And yeah, now I'm gonna do the red. So guys, now I'm opening the red. I can tell this red's already vibrant. I could already tell it's like violet red. Okay, so I'm doing half of it and seeing what it does. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that red. It's already blood red, and I'm not even done with the whole bottle. And guys, this um, food coloring 
doesn't make the stuff taste any different. So guys, now I used all of the blue bottle and all of the red bottle. And I think I should save these for Easter. What do you guys think? But yeah, I think I'm gonna get to save these for Easter. So now I'm gonna pour these two mixes and to into a um, into the cupcake molds. But first, I'm gonna wash my hands. Okay, guys. So now I'm gonna set those aside, and then I'm going to pour them into here. I'm gonna do this row blue, this row red, this row blue, and this row red. Okay, so I'll start, actually I'll start off with blue, because blue's a really good color. Actually guys, I'm gonna do one row blue, and then one row red, and then I'm gonna do the other two tie-dye. Like with red and blue. Okay hey guys, so now, I'll scoot that over a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. So for this one right here, I'm gonna fill half of it with red, like this. And then half of it with blue. And then same with, hold on, I need to take some of that out. Hold on guys, don't take me a second. Okay. Hold on. I know it looks like me sticking my fingers in there is gross, but um actually um I washed my hands three times in this process. And I washed my hands before I did this, so mm -hmm. Guys. 
Okay, guys. Let me go wash my hands again. Okay, guys. Now I'm going to go in with the blue. Some of them are going to have more red and some of them are going to have more blue. Like that one, it has more red. Um, this one is going to have more red. This one right here is going to have more blue. This one right here is going to have more blue. This one right here is probably going to have the same amount of red and blue. And this is probably going to have more red. Actually, that one probably is going to have more blue. And um, I'm going to go back to the blue ones and then put a little bit more blue in the blue ones because I think I put a little more batter in the blue than I did in the red. Or it's just me because I can't scrape that, uh, that much out because that one has a whisk, not a spatula. And this one has a spatula. I think it's better to mix with the whisk and better to dump it out with a spatula. That's just my opinion, but. I don't want to waste all that batter, guys. There's still a lot right there. Well, I guess one of my cupcakes is just going to have to be ginormous. Okie dokie. And then I'm going to get a toothpick to mix the colored ones up. So I got a toothpick to, not, to make it like tie-dye, like to mix the colors a little bit. Because I don't want it just like red and blue stacks on top of each other, if you know what I mean. Because I don't, I just don't think that's like really the thing that I'm going for. I'm going for like tie-dye, tie-dye. So hopefully when I cut inch one, it's bootable. I'm gonna do this for every one too. Ooh, this one has a lot of batter. Guys, one of the tie-dye cupcakes is going to have a lot of batter. And you don't want to make them like purple. Close. That'd be bad <laughs> if I accidentally made it purple, guys. That'd be super bad. Like this one right here that I'm mixing, this one right here, the front one right here. This one, it looks like the back one to you guys, but it's a front, no. Yeah, it's the front one right here. There. Now I'm going to mix this middle one up. And then I already mixed the back one up. Sorry guys, I'm just repeating lines from Casey Undercover. You know that construction work in one? Where it says, where Casey says, well you could at least have my back. And then she's, and then she says, "Nah, but you can have mine." And then turns around and walks away. <laughs> and 
And then she's like, that is not what I meant, and you know it. Okay, guys. So, yeah. That's that one. This is the last one. Whoops, I got that a little over. Okay, guys. I'm gonna put these in the oven now. Okay, guys, I have the oven set to 350. Now I'm going to put these in the oven. So, do you need this? Uh Okay guys, I'm gonna let it cook for about um okay, hold on. Hold on guys, one sec. Guys, while those are cooking, I'm gonna put I'm gonna cut a hole in this piping bag right here. And then I'm gonna put this in it. And then I am going to put some frosting and then get the piping bag ready. Okay guys, so I got my thingy in there and now I'm gonna get a spoon to put the frosting in it. I think I'm gonna get a long spoon like this so I don't get it all over my toes. But, but now I'm going to This is like the buttercream frosting, which is like one of my favorite frostings. Buttercream frosting and whipped frosting are my two favorite frostings in the whole world. I like only like those two kinds of frosting. But yeah. You just hold it open like this. And then you put it all as far as you can get it in. And then there's a whole bunch of frosting. So now you just do it a few more times and then until it gets to like how much frosting you want. I, I think I'm gonna do a little more than half of this in here. So yeah. So guys, this is the frosting that I have in here. But and then I think I'm gonna do like one or two more scoops of it. Hold on, I need to use both hands. Ooh, this big scoop. Come on, guys. Ah! Oh no. Okay, there. There we go. I think this should be enough, right? For 12, for 12 cupcakes, this should be enough, right? Yeah, this should be enough. So I'm just gonna get this, yeah. Now I'm gonna check if these, hold on, I need my oven mitt. Hold on guys, sorry. I'm going to check these are done, they're probably not, most likely not done yet. Ooh! Hold on guys, here, look. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. They're super cute. 
cute. Okay, but anyways, so I have my toothpick right here. Actually, they were done. Sorry about that, guys. My dad keeps interrupting. But, yeah. I'm just cleaning up the sides with my mouth. Okay guys, I'm getting hungry, so I think I'm going to make some shrimp ramen. Oh, look at that, guys. See the little shrimps in there? So good. Okay guys, so now I'm going to put these in the... Bleh. Now I'm going to put this in the microwave for three minutes. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, three minutes. There's potatoes in here. <laughs> we were supposed to have potatoes with dinner yesterday, but we didn't. So, okay, now I'm gonna set the timer for um, two minutes. I'm gonna go brush it. Okay, guys, my ma ra my bleh. my ramen is done, and now I need to let it sit for three minutes. Guys, I'm putting this cupcake back in the oven because look at it. This one was the one with a lot of batter, so so guys, this is a tie dye one, and I really want to see how it turned out. So I'm gonna do all the frosting on it. I'm gonna make and some pizza here in a second. And um, I'm going to just sign this one. Guys, this is so bad. Hold on. Guys, I'm definitely gonna need more frosting than this. I only have this much. I use that much frosting for what? And I still need to do 11 more. So, okay. Um, first of all, I'm going to wipe that off and wipe that. And wipe that and that. Okay, guys. Um, okay. 
Okay, so I got my hands all washed, guys. Now I'm gonna get a butter knife. And take this off. Hold on. Guys, I am so excited. Look, look at this, ready? What? Okay. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. Okay, now. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, hold on. I need to put it on here so it doesn't fall over. Oh no, guys, it's falling. I don't know what to do. Um, hold on. Okay, hold on. I guess I'll just have to hold it. Okay, guys. Ready for the reveal? Oh my gosh, hold on. I need to show that side, okay? Friends, okay. Ready? Oh my gosh, this is what the tie-dye one looks like. Guys, I don't know about you, but I love it. Super cute. I'm going to go ahead and put it on this plate right here. Put it in this plate right here. 